Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Ashton. My name's Jonathan. And along with our son Jack, we're the Black Forest family. So we think Germany is a wonderful place to visit year round, but in our humble opinion, we think the winter time is particularly special. We've shared before our love of the German Christmas markets, whether it be in the heart of the city or celebrated in tucked away valleys in the Black Forest. There's just a mood, a feeling in the air that's almost just indescribable. I mean, it sounds kind of cliche, but it really is a magical place to be. So as Americans, we are particularly perplexed that something so magical hasn't really taken hold. Yeah, especially because it really is just a nice time of year and it's great for all ages. Yeah. Yeah, young and old alike. But I should say, just because Christmas markets aren't widespread in the United States doesn't mean that they don't happen ever. In fact, they've actually been slowly but surely taking a hold here in the United States as well. And today we have something extra special planned. We're going to tour the United States' largest German Christmas market. Located right here in the heart of Chicago. And you know, this is an official Black Forest family visit, so you know we're going to be asking the tough questions. For like, science. Is the glue vine correct? Does the Lebkuchen have the right spices? These are very important questions that we need the answers to. And again, guys, we're happy just to donate our bodies to science and really do a lot of self-sacrifice here. Yes, definitely. So without further ado, come along with us on our tour of the Chris Kindlmarkt, located in Daly Plaza in Chicago, Illinois. Let's go. So there's a line. We weren't really expecting that on a Tuesday morning at like 10.45, but it is packed. So as many of you guys know, the Midwest United States has kind of been the newly adopted home for many German immigrant families for almost two centuries now. And in this spirit, the Chris Kindle Market in Chicago was first conceptualized in 1995 when the German-American Chamber of Commerce of the Midwest was seeking an alternative ways to promote bilateral trade between the United States and Germany. Inspired and open in collaboration with the Christmas market organizers in Nuremberg, both German and Chicago area vendors participated in the very first Chris Kindle Markt in Chicago in 1996. So the first category that we were going to judge this Chris Kindle Market on is ambiance. So a zero is terrible. And a 10 out of 10, I think, would be a very traditional German Christmas market. You know, I, I would say the Ravenna Schlucht would be our 10. Yeah. Just to give it kind of a reference here. Yeah, and so now naturally, this is not a German Christmas market, so I feel like giving it a 10 would be inauthentic. I would say this is a solid... I'd say seven. Seven and a half. Yeah, We got because, a seven and a seven and a half. Yeah, and I would say that too because what I think is super cool is all of these individual vendors have a little sign above them that tell you where they're from. Many of them are from Germany, but there's also Austria, Poland, Ukraine. And even right here in Chicago. Yeah, and local vendors as well. It's actually really, really cool. And I think it really does add truly to just how special and authentic they're trying to make this Christmas market. They clearly put a lot of effort into having authentic vendors participate. And I think I have to say there are more vendors here selling things than any Christmas market I have ever been to, <laughs> which is super cool. That's I mean, this is a something. good opportunity for people to buy genuine European or German Christmas items. Yeah. Um, really, I don't even know where else to buy most of this stuff in the yeah. United States. So no. that by itself is pretty cool. It's an awesome shopping experience. One, by the way, which our family is particularly having <laughs> fun with today. <laughs> Hi guys, I hope you're enjoying coming along with us as we explore America's largest German Christmas market. Christmas markets have always been one of our favorite German traditions. From the beautiful handcrafted trinkets to the sweet glue vine, the Christmas market really is a place to warm you from within during the long, cold winter. And you know, this adventure to the Chris Kindle Markt in Chicago was a way that we could share a little piece of our new home with our loved ones in our homeland. And since we've made Germany, and since we've adopted Germany as our new home, obviously we've invested a lot more time and energy in learning how to read, write, and speak 
in German. But with full-time jobs and a toddler in tow, traditional language classes weren't really a good fit for our busy lifestyles, but we still craved the individual attention and personalized feedback that we got from the instruction from a native level speaker. But then we discovered Lingoda and it completely changed the way that we learned German, making it not only fun, but flexible. And we saw an explosion in our German speaking and comprehension skills. If you haven't heard about them before, Lingoda is an online language school that connects students across the world with native level teachers in live classes to learn a language. Currently, they offer classes to learn English, business English, Spanish, French, or German. And Lingoda hosts one-on-one -on -one or group learning sessions on Zoom for a range of abilities from beginner to advanced. Plus, classes are available 24 seven, offering a highly flexible and individualized learning experience. So Jonathan and I can fit in a class early in the morning before Jack wakes up or late in the evening after he goes to bed. And we've even been able to complete German classes on trains, in airports, and in other countries as we travel as a family. And if you really want to jumpstart your language learning, you need to give the Lingoda Language Sprint a try. This is an intensive language challenge where you take either 15 or 30 classes a month for two months. But here's the best part. If you attend all the classes, you can get 50 or 100% cash back. That's right, you can essentially learn a language for free. But because you guys watch and enjoy our videos, we have an exclusive offer to share with you. Use the code Jonathan D E C for December, or click the link down in the description of this video to get 20 euros or $25 off the deposit. So why not join us, boost your confidence in speaking, and use the gift of language to allow you to discover new customs, traditions, and cultures in a whole new way. All right, so no Christmas market is complete without some traditional glue vine. So I have picked some up here. I have to say it is quite a lot more expensive than we have in Germany. Freiburg, they increased the price to four euros. This is 10 bucks, including the mug. Refills are nine, so the mug you get to keep, and it's really about one dollar. I think I said euros, but it's dollars, but it's one to one right now, so anyway. Oh, it's proper. No, it's really good. Actually, it tastes the same as in the Christmas markets we have in Freiburg. There are a lot of different tastes to choose from because there's so many different Glühwein stands. But this Glühwein is actually imported from Germany here into Chicago. So no surprise, it tastes roughly the same as what we have back home. All right, so I'm gonna give you a rating. Taste, 10 out of 10, it's delicious. The cost, I'm gonna give it a two out of 10. It is very expensive. I realize the extra cost is probably coming from the fact they do import this from Germany. It is gonna be more expensive, but it's delicious and it was still worth it. What do you think, buddy? Do you approve? How, you are the you are the pretzel connoisseur at home, so how how authentic is their pretzel? Okay, we approve. We approve. We approve. Ten out of ten. So speaking of food, we were not expecting to see this here. They have German food from across the entire country, including Northern Germany, not just the traditional Bavarian food that most Americans here are used to. Okay, so the next criteria that we should naturally be judging this Weihnachtsmarkt on is food. So obviously there is a plethora of food here and very traditional food, everything from Verse to Pfannkuchen to raclette um, to, you know, your pretzel, which is always good. Um, I will say again, much like the glue vine with Jonathan, it is very expensive here. Right before we came to Chicago, we just happened to pop into the Freiburg Christmas market and I happened to get a paprika verse. It's five euros. This is ten dollars. Again, euro to dollars are about one to one, so it's basically double the price. So I got a Bavarian verse with sauerkraut and mustard. Try to be as authentic as possible here, right? right. Cheers, guys. Okay, so much like Jonathan's glue vine, taste 10 out of 10. It's very good and very authentic. It tastes just like the verse we get back at home in Germany. The cost is steep. I'm, I'm not going to lie. 
the bread is traditional German bread, not American soft bread, which is really common. This is actually, it's like a weird hybrid in between. It's not as soft as like an American hot dog bun, not as hard as some of the like really crunchy, um, very dense bread that you'll often get with a Wurst in Germany. Um, tastes just like it though, really good. Nice of you to leave me some. Oh man, tastes the exact same, but like more of a breakfast sausage. Okay, technically the sand says that it's Belgian hot chocolate, not German hot chocolate, which I think it's probably more accurate to be Belgian anyway. I couldn't pass it up. It just sounds really good and it's kind of cold today. That's one of the best cups of hot chocolate I've had in a long time. You can really tell that the whipped cream is homemade. That's, that's spectacular. Oh man, that's great. Oh good. oh good. He goes, oh good. All right, so when our son Jack was born in November 2020, our family came to visit us after he was there and we were really kind of hoping that we'd be able to take them to some genuine German Christmas markets, but as we all can remember, COVID, so everything was closed. Yeah, and really, my parents haven't been back to Germany in the winter time, so this Christmas market is in a way just like quite a little bit overdue in a fact. Yeah. Like for two years, they've been waiting to experience a German Christmas market. And while we know, we know we're not in Germany, so it feels a little bit weird to say it's a German Christmas market. I have to say that in walking around here, they've done a fabulous job. It's clear yeah. that like, they're really working with organizers in Germany to make this as authentic as possible from the food to the things you can buy. There is certainly, there is a genuine influence from Germany yeah. that has built this place. And we are here with your extended family today and we are really <laughs> excited to show them the German Christmas markets, um, I guess as good as the United States can do. Yeah, it just feels, it's really nice to sort of share a part of our life in Germany with them because it is really hard just to have people travel these days. I mean, even though a lot of the restrictions are lifting, yeah. it's just a nice way to spend time with our loved ones, it's for sure. It's certainly a lot easier for them to get here. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. And I also have to mention, guys, by the way, I don't know, it's not Germany, obviously. We're in Chicago, but what a cool venue. I mean, you're surrounded by all of these pieces of modern architecture, modern sculpture, but then you still have the quaint and charming just ah, like the, the character of a fun German Christmas market. It's just really... Yeah, the ambiance yeah. is still here. You're just surrounded by big modern <laughs> buildings and not like old traditional yeah. buildings and cobbled streets. But in a way, that's America. That's part of it. It and shouldn't it's be the exact same. Yeah. So it has its own little twist. I'm so glad we were able to come. This has totally been... I think my expectations were already pretty high and... To say that they've exceeded them is, is really a true compliment. <laughs> yeah, I think this has been a lot of fun. I agree. So guys, if you enjoyed what you saw today, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And for more content from the Black Forest family, hit that subscribe button. So, until next time. Ciao. Cheers.